Creating Job. Boom! Welcome to Innovative Results, where we are all about improving your quality of life through dedication to the basics, diligent change and growth, and serving our community. This is about the lunge matrix. So I'm gonna do some movement-based stuff to help you open up your foot, your ankle, your toes, even help with your knee troubles, knee pain, strengthening up that knee, opening up the hips, opening up the spine, and we're gonna do some arm driving movements to even open up the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. So this is a full body movement driven and emphasized through the lower body. This is for you, this is for your family, this is for your friends, this is for your coworkers, and this is for your community members that need to get strong, get powerful, move with some mobility, move with some stability, and build some endurance through efficiency in movement. So we're gonna turn on all sorts of nervous system stuff through our, through our feet all the way up to the brain, the central nervous system. So without getting too jargony on you, um, I'm gonna go straight into it. So the first part of our lunge matrix, we just step forward and then step back. So what I tell everybody that I talk about the lunge matrix too, is I say, hey, you need to be able to bounce back like a basketball would bounce back to you. Your basketball is flat, meaning you stepped out too far, or you dropped your hips too deep, and then things start collapsing on you and you have to really do crazy movements to move back. Then all you gotta do is just shorten that step or not drop the hips so far. But we know that as you build distance, as you build force, right, with speed and with the way you position your body, you can create much more force through the quad, through the glute, through the ab. And that is our metabolic engine right there. That's what's gonna fuel our hunger physically, but it's also gonna help increase our, or change our hormone structure, improve our hormone structure. It's gonna help increase our metabolic rate so that either A, we start using the excess stuff on us, body fat, as a fuel source, if we're eating right, hydrating right, sleeping well, managing our stress well, or we're gonna be able to actually pack on some pounds of solid lean body mass, right, muscle. So again, it's just a step forward and a step back. You need to be able to bounce through that. So I've got all four points, two in the ball, two in my heel, going forward and back. That's the first position in our lunge matrix, whether it's right foot or left foot. And I can stay tall here, and I can feel it, engage my abs as I drop, engage my glute as I drop, engage my quad as I drop, on both sides. So, pretty simple, right? Just like a basketball. Sorry, that's my helicopter. I'll be getting on that later after I film. Um, right, so first movement is just forward, super simple. Then we can go to a diagonal, right? A diagonal forward. So diagonal forward, I'm actually gonna internally rotate my hip a little bit and set just like I would to sprint and go the other way. I'm gonna bring my toe in just a little bit to help stabilize that force that I'm creating forward and diagonally into my foot. Loading my quad, loading my glute, loading my abs, coming back. I go diagonal this way, right? That's the second position for the lunge matrix. Third is gonna be lateral. So my feet are gonna be parallel and I'm gonna drop all four points every single time. My lead foot is the foot that I'm gonna step with in whichever part of the lunge matrix that I'm doing. That lead foot is always gonna communicate to the ground with four points of contact. Two in the ball, two in the heel. You wanna eliminate lower back injury or lower back strain, start opening up your hips and open it up through movement, through activating the proper muscles and watch that lower back pain start to dissipate. This is a way to help reduce some of the tension that we feel by sitting in this sagittal plane all the time, sitting, 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 being in this crunched over human cashew, which is not only low performing, 
low producing in terms of movement, but it makes us feel like poo. It makes us look like poo. And if we did it for long enough, we might actually turn into, no, nah, we wouldn't turn into poo. Okay, but you're gonna feel a whole heck of a lot better, be much stronger vertically, right? By doing this lunge matrix in all planes of motion. Most of the time we're running in the sagittal plane, even if there's a little rotation, we're sitting, we're squatting, we're pushing, everything's done in the sagittal plane and we forget that we have a ball and socket joint in our hip. It can move in all directions and we need to move it in all directions to open up the space for that hip. So again, lateral and I'm trying to bounce. If I can, I'll get lower and explode higher. If I cannot, I just shorten it up, bounce back, just like a basketball. The fourth one is backward diagonal. I open up my hips. Now it's externally rotating, opening up my hips, driving through the heel. Come back. The other side. This one, people start to get off balance. That's a flat basketball. So I'll just shorten it. Come back, shorten it. Come back until I can build some stability where I can really reach out and really drop low through all four points, boom, hop back. All four points, boom, hop back. Then I'll go straight back, number five. So straight back is gonna be really good for our dorsiflexion, which will help when we jump, when we sprint, when we crawl. If you crawl, if you don't crawl, it'll help when you run, walk, jump, sprint, normal human things. Some of us crawl, right? Or we have to get in that four point position to get something at our house or maybe in a sport, you're down like super low. This is gonna help. I'm gonna drop back so you can see it from the side. Drop back and explode forward. Notice dropping my hips, but still staying tall and wide. Always this living position, tall and wide. Boom, boom. Then the, the sixth one is a curtsy. I'm gonna come under, try to parallel both feet, drop down and come back. Boom, 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 like a basketball. So you could go all your different points through the lunge matrix or you could just do one at a time and then switch, the next one, one at a time, then the next one, one at a time, then the next one, one at a time. So we did five, six is the curtsy, boom, and then we'll cross over lateral in front, right? Cross over lateral in front, that's number seven. Notice the trail foot, I don't care about. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. This foot, I want all four points every time and I wanna stay tall and wide. Boom, 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 boom. Crossover lateral. And then the last one is a post pattern, number eight. So I'm going in front of my toe, turning 90 degrees, loading all four points, dropping my hips, staying tall, staying wide. Feeling it activate my abs, my quad, and my glute every time. You want a good booty? Do the lunge matrix. You want to be an explosive wrestler? Do the lunge matrix. You want to be a better figure skater? Do the lunge matrix. You want to just feel better, look better, and move better? Do the lunge matrix. This is Aaron Guy. I'm here to improve your quality of life here at Innovative Results, Costa Mesa, California. Thank you. That was the